Okay, so this is the new Pono player. Let's see it here. And right now I'm going to do a complete teardown on the Pono player. And I don't think I should need anything more than a small Phillips screwdriver. And this is a guitar pick in Pono yellow. So I'm just going to start by kind of cracking open one of the sides with the guitar pick. bad. I think that there's a small amount of glue that's also holding it together. It seems to be uh, just a small amount of hot melt adhesive just probably so it doesn't pop open when you drop it. Okay. A lot of people compare this thing to a Toblerone. I can see that. Okay. So that's the Pono player open and um, right here you can see this is a 3.78 volt uh, 2950 milliamp hour uh, lithium rechargeable lithium ion battery and um, that is just connected right to the Pono's uh, main circuit board with a nice little three pin connector and um, it looks like it's actually just press fit right into the case you can see that so um, that comes out pretty easily so um, it says in the manual that um, the battery shouldn't be replaced but uh, it looks like you can replace the battery with only a guitar pick okay so here's the back side of the Pono circuit board here's the battery here's the three pin connector that the battery was attached to uh, this is the USB connector. This is the micro SD connector. On this side are the two uh, eighth inch outputs and um, here you see some uh, some fairly large through hole um, capacitors. Um, those are 1000 UF capacitors, 6.3 volts, both of them. Okay, so the first chip is this one, this is a Texas Instruments TPS 65921B1. This is a multi-channel power management chip and real-time clock, so that explains why it's next to the battery. It's doing all the um, charging and voltage regulating. Um, the second chip is JW734. This is a NAND flash memory. This chip, which is upside down, but if you can see it, this is the ESS. ES9018K2M and this is probably the the important chip on the Pono player. This small chip is the um, the digital to analog converter. Uh, ESS calls this a high performance 32-bit two-channel DAC. This chip is um, this is an OPA4376. That's a Texas Instruments uh, precision low noise op amp. And um, this small chip here, I believe, is an LM26. This is a thermostat temperature chip. So maybe this is inside monitoring the uh, internal temperature. It makes sense because when the, um, when the battery is back in its place, you can see that it's pretty much right on top of the temperature chip. Okay, so now I'm going to see what's on the uh, front side of the circuit board. And it seems like there's just two very small uh, Phillips head screws that are holding it on. I've already taken off one. Here's the second. Okay, and the Pono should just open up. Okay, there it is. And here's the front of the circuit board. And um, on the back of the enclosure, um, this is just the, the three buttons. And um, this looks like it is the LCD and touchscreen and probably the associated controller going to a ribbon cable right to the uh, back of the circuit board there. So now let's check out what's on the uh, front of the Pono circuit board. Okay, so now we're looking at the front of the Pono circuit board. Um, the first chip is the Samsung chip. This is KLMCG8WEBC. Um, the Samsung calls this an EMMC. That's a managed NAND flash memory. Um, 
This is the 64 gigabyte version, so this is the internal memory, and this is right on the opposite side of the micro SD slot, so the two are right on top of each other. Um, this is the 64 gigabyte version, and uh, interestingly, on the Samsung site, this chip's available in 4 to 128 gigabytes, so I guess this could have been a 128 gigabyte chip for probably another dollar or so, and uh, it's kind of a shame that they chose not to do that. Um, I hope they're not pulling an Apple thing and waiting six months to release one with twice as much internal memory. But over here, there's this very cool um, array of about, it looks like about 30 very small chips, and these are um, tr discrete transistors. And um, this looks like they're paired right next to the output section. This is the headphone jack and the line output jack. So it looks like um, along with those large um, through-hole capacitors, that, that compromises the headphone and line-out driving section. And that's all discrete transistors there. It's uh, very tightly packed, and it's uh, very cool. That's it, really. Um, there's the three buttons that correspond with the buttons on the front. Um, there's some small tabs that um, ground the uh, rear of the, the touch screen. And uh, that's it. That's, that's the entire... Uh, Pono player. It's interesting though, the uh, silk screen layer on this circuit board is, is very concise. Um, you can see that some pins are marked uh, DAC, um, data pin, and uh, clock pin. So um, a lot of it's very accessible here. Um, so I don't know if that lends itself to hacking if anybody wants to get that small, but that's it. So that, that's the that's the teardown of the Pono player. Now I'm going to put it back together so I can continue trying to enjoy it.